every problem in test is much more than a simple problem statement. Uh, let me illustrate this with an example. Uh, we go to the problems chapter. I'm logged in as a student already. So let's go to, say, chapter 8. First of all, if you point your mouse over the help icon, it tells uh, much more about what I'm about to cover. Also, uh, sometimes you can minimize this uh, table of content by clicking this button. Okay, so first thing we see here is the problem statement, and here is a schematic for this particular problem. If you click on the schematic, most of the time, in case at the bottom of it's written is animation, then if you click on the schematic, uh, an animation of this relevant animation appears um, from the animations module, and you can see the the schematic goes as a smaller icon here. Clicking that will close the, again, if you click the schematic, it goes over here as a smaller schematic. And if you click that again, the animation disappears. You can toggle the animation. Well, if you are immediately interested in the solution, if you go there, it can give you some hints on the test solution, but the manual solution is not available to, the, to, to, to academic edition. Only approved professionals and approved educators and verified educators are given access to manual solution. Uh, also, next to solution is a discussion link. If you click there, you can see that um, you, can, you can go down and figure out, you, you can post a comment. Well, if, you, if you're stuck in a particular problem, you'll find uh, many students have commented in the past on several problems, so th that discussion block really helps uh, students get a correct solution. Okay, if you click on the, on the, also notice that the problem number, there's a background, the green color here, and if you go to another problem, let's say, for instance, here, there's a red background. So be, that's the purpose of having an accounting test, because every time you solve a problem, there, it's recorded that you've solved it correctly, or just tried it or solved it incorrectly. So 812, the red means that I, the student hasn't solved it correctly. So let's say, um, you know, suppose uh, you click on the problem number. What happens is that immediately the detail shows up, your solution, what you did, uh, it shows that you solved it incorrectly, you can make another shot, and even it gives you such suggestion what to do if, when you solve the problem incorrectly. But if you solve the problem correctly, uh, then it gives you suggest something better that, hey, you have solved this problem correctly. Why don't you solve another problem of this type to solidify your knowledge on this particular learning outcome? And what it means is that every problem in test has been assigned uh, one or more learning outcomes. So when you solve a problem, these bar charts uh, it will show your progress in different outcomes. Thermodynamics has been divided into 24 learning outcomes, and the more problem you solve, uh, and on a particular type, you can become an expert, at least in one particular outcome. And of course, a progress report uh, details every problem you have solved, when you have solved it correctly or not, how many problems you have tried, etc. And this report is available uh, if you're a student, and if you're, 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 your professor sets up a group then he or she can uh, essentially get the homework done in this manner, encouraging students to solve as many problems correctly as they can. So, uh, if we, as I said, if you solve the problem correctly, the shown the problem is solved correctly, and for each problem you can go and find the same progress. Progress report is the cumulative uh, collection of all your records. Uh, you also will notice that some problems have the key symbol. Those are the key problems. Though these are the problems where a lot more effort has been spent to guide students. Uh, whereas other problems is just they're called challenge problem. That is, you solve more problem and learn more. In the key problems, you'll also find a calculator icon. Essentially, to help you, uh, you know, solve the problem using test, you can click there and open uh, the relevant test app so that you can see the numbers here, plug them in, and see if you're getting the right answer. Of course, a test step solution is only supposed to help you get a correct manual solution so that you don't waste your time just looking up tables endlessly.